Hey guys, it's Duct Tape Susie, and I had mentioned in one of my videos yesterday that I was going to do a review for a duct tape. Um, about a week ago, I watched Duct Tape Libby's video, and she had a wallet made out of this tape right here. And I fell in love with it, and I said I have to have that. So I started doing some research for the um, product because she did show the label, which is this one right here. And I thought, oh my goodness, I have to have this. So I did end up finding it. And these are the four patterns that this brand carries. Um, so the pros and the cons of this duct tape, I actually fell in love with it. And I'm sure Duct Tape Libby also knows like how well quality it really is. Uh, I made a few wallets made out of it. Not of each one of them, just the three. These two right here and this one. I'll show those in just a moment. But first, I just want to share my pros and cons on the tape. Um, first off, I think the tape is amazing. It has about the same quality as Duck Brand. It's maybe a little bit thinner than Duck Brand, possibly more like a scotch. It's kind of like an in-between of a scotch and a Duck Brand, except for it has a lot more adhesive than Duck Brand does. But it's not like a Rue 21 where the Rue 21 and the Platypus tapes are both really thick. This isn't. This is super flexible. It's um, just extra sticky. And so... I'd say the con about it is it stinks. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. It has like a really weird odor. Not like a stinky odor, you know, not like a bathroom odor or nothing like that. It just it has a really strange odor. I'm guessing it's just where it's manufactured at. So I fell in love with the prints because um, when I seen this one, I started searching for them and I fell in love with the pink houndstooth. Look how freaking awesome that is. I fell in love with it, and it's a lot smaller than the normal, like, duck brand pounds, too. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still kind of getting over this cold. And then the newspaper one, I was like, eh, I don't know. We'll check it out. It's actually kind of cute. Um, so now that you see the different patterns of rolls that they carry, oops, sorry. Um, this one on the website, oops, this one on their website, it's actually called Tiger Stripes. On the, the website that I bought it from said Pink Tiger Stripes, and but the picture obviously looks like the orange and black tiger stripes but and then they have the newspaper one and here is the labels for the three that I had already opened here's the pink hounds tooth label this is the peace and love one the one that I seen on duct tape Libby's um, video about a week ago and then this one is the newspaper one I have not opened the tiger stripes one yet um, these are the parts that I made out of them so far and you'll probably see these things again in my crafts of the week come Sunday. But um, this is the love one. It's the outside. The inside. And I just did the blue and the pink because I like the combo. And I think she might have used the same combo. Um, because obviously it's the colors in the, the pattern tape as it is. But, and then the inside I just did like the blue. And of course it got the two items, the ID and the three card pockets. And like I said, it's a little bit thinner than duck, duck Brand, but it's not as thin as Scotch, and it has extra, extra adhesive, and I can kind of show you here. Like, I'm stacking them on top of each other, and they're really super sticky. I'll show you with the pink hounds, too. You can see how sticky it is. It doesn't want to come up, really. It is super, super sticky. I loved that. Um, and you can't, it, there's no room for error, so that's one thing I will say. <laughs> okay, so I made this wallet out of the Peace and Love, and then I made the newspaper one, and I really, it kind of looks like I just made a newspaper wallet, is what it looks like, <laughs> I mean, honestly, and I was going to do black trims, but instead I decided to go with a slick um, pockets, so there's three card pockets there, and then the ID over here, and then the two hiddens, obviously. And then I can just continue with the newspaper theme. I could have easily used black for the trims, but I kind of just wanted it to look like an actual newspaper wallet, which you can obviously make, but this duct tape is obviously a little more sturdier and can withhold a lot. Actually, um, my boyfriend had washed his wallet, I don't know how many times, and it came out perfectly fine, and I have stood in the rain with my purses for like three hours at a time and never had any problems. Now, I don't use cardboard in my purses, and I'm like strictly against it. Um, just because it's going to warp, it's going to get wet, it's going to ruin. Some people like to put cardboard in their purses for extra stability, but I don't. Um, so I think that any type of duct tape is super durable as long as you don't 
use anything like cardboard. So there's the newspaper one. I know I'm kind of going off subject here. <coughs> Sorry. So there are those wallets. And then I made the pink houndstooth and the accordion style, which I have not yet put a magnet on it. Um, but I did fall in love with it. Of course, there's the ID on the outside. You have your expansions and the coin pouch, which is all pink houndstooth inside that. And then you have your six card pockets up top and your other bill fold right here. So anyways, I just have to say that I am absolutely in love with this duct tape company. And I wish that they would make more patterns because I am a pattern freak. I love different patterns. So overall, I would give this designer duct tape a thumbs up times 10 because it by far passes up Scotch Brand. Um, I think it's a little well more, it's, uh, I think it's better than Route 21 and I am a huge supporter of Route 21 tapes. And the only reason why is because making bifolds really suck with thick tape because it doesn't want to fold or like you can see this one, it just, it just stands there. Route 21 ones just like stay way up here and doesn't want to fold. This one does and so does this one. So I give this a huge thumbs up and I think that everybody should go and try it. Unfortunately, I do not see it for sale in stores. Um, however, if you look on the back of the label, there is a website right there where you can order it. Um, and the company that I ordered it from is called ConsumerCrafts.com. And I'll try to hide my information here. But as you can see right here, oops, let me try to scoop this over a little bit. I pay $2.97 a roll. It was on clearance. So go check it out, or it was on sale, one of the two. So go check it out. It's worth trying at least one roll. I actually ordered three of the pink houndstooth tooth because I am in love with it. And I just ordered one each of the other ones. But now that I have tried it and I just adore it, I will be ordering more. Sorry this was such a long video. I kind of wanted to give it a good review because not a lot of um, tapes are reviewed is mainly because duck brand is a number one quality for any type of duct tape craft but I also want these people this company to know how awesome their product really is so I'm giving it a thumbs up thank you duct tape Libby for bringing this to um, the duct tape community and letting us know about this different brand of duct tape with their different patterns I really appreciate it and that's it guys I will have um, I'm probably going to do a video in another day or so on a contest. So look for that. And thanks for watching. Hope you guys can try out these tapes. Bye.